for, well, they're both in Eli, for Pawn Master. <laughs> because apparently this matchup is really bad for Samus. And literally the only evidence I have to, like, you know, support or, like, you know, deny that claim is the fact that Squid beat Isimus when they played at Apex last year. Oh. That's, like, literally the only evidence I have to, you know, support or disprove it. <laughs> well, that's a stock. Yeah. Also, I, mean, I don't imagine this match is particularly great either, mostly due to the fact that your role is awful. And having a decent role in, like, the in the Belmont matchup is important. Because mm. how are you going to get past a lot of these, like, ledge options? You can't simply roll past it at the time. Yeah, yeah, that does make a lot of sense. And right now, I mean, when you open up a, a game like that... Oh. The, you wait, you, you... If you didn't wait, like... Oof, that would have hurt a lot. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't have taken it. That's damage. Yeah. So we charge Oh, he's back. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, you're... Oh, good uh, DI on Pond going to be able to... Okay. So, talk about whenever Squid Palmer goes for, like, those offstage aerials from, like, the ledge, it, he's feeling himself. So, coming off that victory, that definitely could be an influence in it. But... Pawn Master is like a, he is a long, he will play the long game versus you. Hmm. He, like, you know the meme of you're down, why are you camping? Yeah. Yeah, that's Pawn Master. Yeah, that makes sense. But, I mean, it also doesn't help those are the two characters he plays that have to do it sometimes, have problems getting in. But even still, like, it, you gotta press the issue a little bit. Yeah. Don't, like, you know, go in haphazardly, but otherwise just prolong the inevitable and give your opponent even more data, you know? That up tilt is not. Wait, is he doing it? Oh, that was almost. That was almost. Dude, sick. Do you see how bad that like air, he rolled there? By the way, <laughs> he, he he didn't even like put it like he put it directly on the ledge and he rolled and he still got hit by it. Yeah. That that roll is bad. Oh, oh, that was actually really close. Oh, he got really good nair from Bomb Master to actually intercept him because if he wait because if he let him let's go do that he would have gotten hit by the down air into up. Which would have killed because it was a spiky box. Mm. Should be fine. Yeah, yeah. waiting there. I'm too high for any damage or any follow ups. But I wonder if Palm Master is also going to pick up the fact that Squid like, instantly air dodges. Someone, please. Dude, that dare is close to killing off the top. Like, that is insane. 150%. I mean, Young Link is light. <laughs> That's going to. Should be a punish Should've. at least. Yeah. That's gonna be it though. Yeah, guaranteed. Here we go. Final sock by Palm Master. Definitely on his last legs here. 173%. Any hit. Almost any hit. That's gonna kill. Yeah. That was really cool with the, <laughs> the, 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 the bomb fire and the, uh, the bomb explosion, explosion going on. Yeah. Michael Bay forward throw. And Spit Plumber keeping the hype train alive. Game one goes in. He wants a run back. Against Matter? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the battle. Yeah, and sticking with the same characters. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's also one of those matchups where you're probably going to trust your old gun. Uh, your old guns way, uh, way more than you're going to. I feel like when you're fighting a weird character like Belmont, you like... You kind of have to go, like, better matchups sure help because the character does get match protect sometimes, but it's also a comfort thing. They're just going to be thrown in so many weird situations that only Belmont can put you in that you might as well be on a character that you know really well. So you only have to think about it. It's just kind of automatic responses. Comfort is king a lot in this game. Right now, Bomb Master coming out ahead. Trying to draw that line of scrimmage, but Pond's definitely the aggressor here, and Squid Plumber's taking advantage of oh, that. There's, forward. there's a way from Squid Plumber. Ooh, not angling that down. I wonder. Well, doesn't matter. I think he assumed that Pond's going to get out of it in time. Ah, yeah, yeah. But either way, he didn't. It got stuck with the down smash off the reset. There's the wait. I feel like the drop down there could just work, right? Because Nair's out for a long time. Even if you miss the first time, you throw another one out and you just jump. Yeah, true. I mean, Belmont's recovery is so quick that you might be able to, like, slip in in between, but, you know, make him work for it. Yeah. I Maybe mean, there's, like, no end lag on that Nair. Hmm. That move is out for a while, while. Right. Do not touch Squid Plumber Shield. It's going to up you that almost every single time. That did. Okay. 
Hey, the child's, the child's kicks hurt. You got any kicks? Kick yes. playing soccer? Oh, I was about to say oh, kick well, by kid. Kick well, by yeah. kid works too, but that's like the only example I can really think of. It's like, where, where, where else in life am I getting hit, kicked by a kid, you know? They don't know how to hold back yet. Yeah. So just like put their whole little tiny body weight, all like 50 pounds, into a kick. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Kids I, are mean. I almost broke. <laughs> I don't know if I actually broke my toe, but I couldn't kick a soccer ball for like two months. Sounds broken, Which, dude. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, who knows? Maybe my feet are fine now, I think. Because I kicked, uh, kicked the bleachers once. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That would demolish a toe. Yeah. And it kind of sucks because I, I, played, I played soccer. I played travel soccer, so I kind of needed my feet. Yeah. It seems like a prerequisite to soccer. Having two working feet, hopefully. But anyways, going back to this. It's just a lot of Pond Master just trying to... Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Put oh, the little charge this? on it. Ooh. It's Palm Master just playing the distance right now. Squid, because Squid also can't be the aggressor really. He has to hope they can get in in between these hits. But if he misses, he's just gonna eat one of the fire arrows or the uh, boomerangs. Mm. And we've seen many times the fire arrows. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, the fire arrows kind of being a real uh, thorn to Palmer's sides because sometimes they'll just travel along Ball. the low end of the stage. Oh, this might barely uh, not enough. That move is not like that. Yeah. You have to be like off stage. 23% by the way. Um so while this is not doable, Squid just needs one one mud trap. And this is his his game. But you're gonna have to not get hit by a sweet spot there. Yeah, those arrows. Some of pawn master starting to remember more and more as the game goes on, like how good some of those arrows are. Especially when it comes to like Tech chasing on these platforms like that, it will just cover the whole platform. And if you get it at any point, you, Young Link usually does have a follow up in some way, shape, or form there. Yeah, yeah. And we're definitely seeing a consideration. I wonder what the bands were. Okay. Battlefield makes sense. Squid likes that stage a little bit because, most importantly, the higher platform means he can up E for free. Yep. And, like, yeah, most characters just straight up cannot punish that. Yeah. Well, or it becomes. I a mix. wonder if you can. It's just you don't want to. It's like it's like the you full send like every character yeah. theoretically has a punish on Game and Watch Uppy. It's just one of those things you just you have to like react to it. You can't just let it happen and do it. Mm -hmm. So I I mean I imagine it's kind of the same philosophy with Belmont Uppy, right? Yeah, like I mean the, also with the input buffer in this game, some have to do it like before you even recognize that the situation is happening. Yeah, so you have to preemptively know that you're going to shield this. But. This also means that since it's a higher ceiling, we're not going to see a lot of those kills off the top anymore. Well, not as early for Pond Master. Uh, and the side blast zones are the side blast zones. So they're going to. Those are pretty standard, anyways. But. The Squid Pump, it's definitely. You're, if your up smash hits, it's going to kill. Probably. That is like. You're not going to be worrying about the ceiling as much. However, if you're Pond Master, your up smash definitely does get heavily affected by the ceiling of it. But more importantly. Your um, moves off the side is going to be your main way of killing now. Because once your Belmont also doesn't, is not worried about what si where he's going to be killing you off. He knows he's going to kill you. Yeah. Unless you just can't you know, hit a fair bear. But he inactivated on it because he still didn't hit. There's the up B. Yeah, and it wasn't quite on the platform either. So Pawn Master had a punish there. Already was up in the air ready with that up air. Oh, getting around it. Dash attack. Intercepting and you know, maybe that high sling was so that was not good DI there. Hmm. I'm not trusting the grab either. Oh, that roll was rough, but such, at such a high percent, you know, you were able to get out of that, and you're still going to be alive here. Are we going to see 200? I think we're going to see 200, man. Well, okay, barely. 203 at the end at the end of this stock. Yeah, 200 for a frame. So getting two stocks for price of one right there, functionally. All I'm saying though is uh, JFit had a lead on Leo for longer, but that's just. That's because JFit's the GOAT. JFit is the GOAT. Uh, there's the upbeat, but still getting punished by the boomerang that time. Oh, you can't punish that one. <laughs> Good idea, but you can't do it like that. Keep your distance. If you... I mean, you're, you're a distance character, right? Hmm. I feel like you can do like a landing nair to get something off of it. Interception, there it is, to the platform. Also, Squid has been implementing a lot of nail recently. Because he's a lot of Belmonts have picked up on the fact that they can indeed do nils. Oh. Uh, like it's 
They're one of the, def I think it's Dumb and Falcon, and they only hit us in the game that can, like, besides, like, Steve, of course, but they're the only ones that can do, like, a standard nil mm. without, you know, or one of, like, one of the ones that it's easier for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that could, that could come into play, although I haven't seen him, him using it, like, aggressively. It's more so just been, like, a platform movement option. It's always good to have, you know, anything that saves time allows you to gain control a bit faster. Huge. Oh, he went for a grab there, but he has to watch out for the up, the up air right now. Or even an air. An air well, up to kill. Who's up air is not. Uh, well, up to kill for Podmaster. Uh, here it would. That's not. That, he's wow, on the top. Pla that. He's on the top platform. He's still didn't die. Yeah, I think up tilt could probably kill. Yeah, should probably kill here. There it is. Up tilt the uh, neutral get up because have we seen how hard he's been getting punished for? No way. Okay. We've seen how hard Squid's been getting. Uh, I mean, Pond's been getting punished for those rolls. So that leaves you with no other option, right? If you da if you like drop from ledge, you're gonna get caught by it on your way back up. Mm. The lingering hitbox from hitting. Oh, this will be damage. Yep. Hold that 56. All right. And there we go. Finally, baiting out that up B, but nope. Real punish. Battlefield coming in clutch for a Squid plumber again. Oh, you dropped your shield, and yep, can't get to a platform or anything. You're just going to eat this punish. Down air, getting away with it. Oh, okay. What I find interesting about what Scrimple was doing here is that he's letting go of shield really early or, like, trying to jump. F smash? Roll. Will this? Yeah, it will. He waited Sheesh. for way too long. I think, like, I think Palm was in the process of even putting up a shield or whatever because it was, like, no end lag. Or he was at the end of the move when he got hit by that. Mm. So, I mean, we saw earlier, too, just a little bit of the delay on it led to him not hitting it in the first game. Yeah. But what I was saying before is, like, I think it's really interesting that Squid Plumber is letting go of shield when... What's Youngling going to do? Grab you? <laughs> like, yeah, it, it, Youngling. I have not seen one grab come out from Pawn Master. Youngling's grab is very atrocious. What? Atrocious. Yeah, but it's also pretty telegraphed if you're going for it. Yeah. Because, like, how often are you really going to get, like, grab? It's, it's, it's slow, it's laggy. You don't get much off of it. Only like a, in ledge situations, that's every character, right? Even if you come out how you're grabbing, you have their, back, their backs are to the ledge. They're gonna put up shield. Yeah. All right. Pawn Master coming out of the gates so strong this time around. Yeah, but small battlefield, so it means low ceiling, but you have the PS2 layout, which we saw benefited Pawn also in that uh, game two. Both of us. Okay. The, the returning. Oh, there's the grab. Okay, okay. So they are but on the table. Very situational there, just with the spacing of. The thing about it is that, like, once you grab once, you show them that you have the capability to do that, and then that opens up a lot more doors for you, because now they're going to be a little bit afraid of the grab. Especially when it's a bad grab. They're like, bro, I can't believe I got hit by that. What am I doing? And then... Ooh, you can press the button. Yeah. All right. One of my favorite, like, things about, like, you catch with these bad grabs is a lot of them just forget they have it. Like... <laughs> yeah, true. Like, I was, like, I was talking with Skrulls, like, why don't you ever just grab more? Because, like, you, you see his... Well, okay. Not in case of point. I well, guess. it's like, it's either it misses, but he's also said, I just forget. Like, <laughs> because you're so used to not having to, because you have plenty of other options that can cover it. And on paper, grab is probably your worst one, because it's lag your one. It doesn't have much reach, because it's someone grab. Like, they don't, they don't have any, like, anything that would completely lead to a better grab. Mm. Now we're starting to see a lot more grabs coming through for Pawn Master, and look at how well it's working. Oh, poor Air Dodge. Wait, that should be a stop. Yeah. He did, you didn't even hear the end part of that. He just exploded without, <laughs> yeah. like, the... Disappeared. Oh, watch out. Oh, they are getting blocked by the uh, returning cross. All right, Bob Master looks like he's figured out something pretty big right now, which is opening up more with grab and also... Don't spam arrow. What yeah. is what is Squirt going to do against it? Yeah. He has to, he has to be... The only, only move that he has that clinks with it is side B. But side B is way laggier to even get out and, the, and for it to return than it is to shoot, shoot a fire arrow. I think Young only can shoot like two or three arrows by the time it's, you start your uh, neutral B. And he's also getting hit by these uppies a lot. Again, because he's dropping shield. There's so much more space than you would think, too, that Dreamer ring. Yeah. And also, since up B is stale, like now it could actually combo into something that's a problem, too. Bro! 
everything okay. I said, everything okay. I said in between games came to pass. Though. Yeah, literally everything. I said, I don't know why Squid Plumber's dropping shield. What's Dylan going to do? Grab you? But then he started grabbing him, and then because of that, he's starting to roll and stuff more often. But this is one time where you have to just take the old Street Fighter uh, Five model. No. Just take the throw. Sorry, just take the throw. So I don't like this FD pick from Squid. I don't think Youngling one of those cases that like that necessarily struggles when they can't get in because they are one of the catchers who are preventing you from getting in. Mm -hmm. It's not in. It's always true. If we saw it last game, how is how is Squid going to be getting around those arrows and those boomerangs? Uh, don't get hit once by them because if you get hit once, then uh, I don't know how you're getting around for that. <laughs> he's probably he probably MDSR'd it, and we saw the dual plat layout. So what? That bans Hollow, that bans Smashville. You don't go to town in that situation. You definitely don't go to Kalos. So I guess FD is your best option here, but even then, that's not saying much because that's you know because there's that. You don't get. It's pretty apparent what both kids are going for. Oh, well, he didn't have his back towards, or he had his back towards him, so he couldn't get a grab off of that. I think. One thing that did happen in the previous... I was just about to say, never mind. I was about to say, is maybe Palm Master beat all the rolls out of Squid Plumber, but he just rolled right there in the same exact situation, so... Sometimes it's not makes up myths, though. You jump directly into the bomb. And... You... Palms only at 59, by the way. Yeah, it's like, been pretty dominant. It, that Nair is super... Uh, oh, he's waiting. That's dead, by the way. He's where you land. Yep, yep, empty moment. Yeah, you called it, Nick. And because Pond has been willing to wait for that. Unlike we thought Avail wasn't able to finish off with the, uh, just wasn't able to finish the, that could be it. Low ceiling up. Yeah, so, exploded. Such strong up smash. And Youngling's yeah. so light as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, and that was just strong, too. <laughs> Put yeah. a little bit of charge on it as well. Oh, it's too short, but... Oh, you waited, but you're, you right drifted position. back, so he... Both, and you guys... Okay, okay, you lost the jump, by the way. Uh-oh. 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 Huge! And, yeah, that is enough. Big edge guard from Clawmaster. He finally went out. He finally went out. <laughs> he did it. So and you know what? It paid off. That was a beautiful edge guard. We're going to have to start covering these jumps. That's all Pawn is doing off the sledge, because we've seen each option that he's previously went for get uh, just destroyed. <laughs> yeah, it's that was enough to try to bait out the upbeat. All right, now Squid Palmer is not rolling quite as much. Wait, no jump. Uh -oh. He didn't grab ledge. Okay. I mean, for as, for as early as Squid's been losing his stock, he's been getting it back each and every time. Yeah, always gets his lick back. Wait, this should be huge. 50%? And again, landing onto the holy water. Palm That's master. a stock. That's oh. a game. Sheesh! Just like that, I was about to say, Spawnmaster landing so aggressively, landing so haphazardly over and over, and just like that, Squid Plumber capitalizes on every single interaction and takes that game five. Another game five in the book, Squid Plumber running the gauntlet tonight. Yeah, I mean, since we the first top three seeds were Pink, Mata, and Squid, but since like Pink is playing Barth, which could go either way, he could be on he could be on top of his game and he's gonna win it like against the best of MDVA somehow still. Hmm. Or we get situations like tonight where, you know, maybe he just wasn't feeling it, or maybe we have players who know how to fight against Marth for some reason. And 